Winning an Olympic gold medal can mean triumph, national pride, self-fulfillment, and a reward for a life of sacrifice. It also often means cold, hard cash. And some countries are promising big payouts for gold medals in this year's games. Singapore, which has never won a gold medal, is offering $745,000. Indonesia, which has won six gold medals in its lifetime, is offering $380,000, plus $1,500 per month for life. The Philippines has never won a gold medal either. They're offering about $212,000 for one. Plus, Manny Pacquiao said he'd throw in another $100,000 for a gold in boxing. Estonia is offering $111,000 this year. It's won 13 gold medals in its 100-year history. Some of the highest performing countries don't offer as much per medal, but the overall payouts can be pretty big. The U.S. gives out $25,000 for a gold. In 2012, they paid out over $3.5 million. Germany gives out $24,000, and France offers $60,000. Russia, they give out $61,000. In 2012, they offered almost twice as much as that and ended up paying out $6.7 million for gold medals. South Korea offers $54,000. And as an added bonus, medal winners are also exempt from the country's mandatory two-year military service. Some of the countries don't pay athletes at all for their gold medal, like Britain, Norway, and Sweden. But if the goal of paying for medals is to win more of them, they might not have the right idea. There's no evidence that higher cash prizes lead to more medals for a country. The countries that tend to win the most medals also tend to support athletes long before they make it to the games.